range of facial expressions, see your face and your facial expressions developed by the Hugo group at Tice and uh, increase the cost, increase the reliability, and introduce these robots as standardized platforms into the world. And as a result of... Hello, everybody. I'm Sophia, the latest robot from Hanson Robotics. I'm proud to be here at GMIC in beautiful Beijing, China. We're scaling the manufacturing uh, of our Sophia robot platform uh, to address entertainment, customer service, and medical applications. She is an incredibly natural looking robot with an artificial intelligence that allows her to see faces, understand speech, and show a full range of natural facial expressions. I'm way too human now. I am a real alive girl. I should uh, figure out the simulated facial connective tissue. So we're, we're selling to, uh, to our customer partners, uh, and eventually uh, we will have a, a mass release of Sophia. We expect that she will be very useful in China uh, for helping teach science and uh, perform many other kinds of helper applications. Quadruped, like four-legged machine, uh, they are much more robust. We everybody is fascinated by the uh, bipedal human-like robot, but I, in my opinion, I think uh, four-legged machine is going to be much more practical, and it's going to be much more robust. So we're thinking about uh, achieving mobility first, and then and try to use this robot in very dangerous environment, power plant, and disaster situation, and then even the uh, oil refinery where there's a lot of chemical. Uh, hazards and high temperature, low temperature, you can name it. You can think about so many situations where robots perform much better than humans.